draw only, we will find this. What is solenoid? So solenoid we say it is long cylindrical coil. That may be. So when we on the wire on this one like this, this is This is the length of the solenoid and this is the radius of the solenoid. So here this L must be much more than A. Then only we will say it is solenoid. So it is long cylindrical coil. So each loop of this wire, wire is forming so many loops. So each loop produces its own magnetic field. And we have seen in case of circular coil. <coughs> no, suppose we are just winding the wire. Suppose like this, we are winding the wire very close like this. So this is the, so wires are very close like this. Or it may be from other side also, you can see no problem. Or other way also, winding will be here it is, what is that? From above it is coming, but from below light, like that it is going. So now suppose current is passing through this way. Then here current is going inside, inward. But from here, current is coming out. So direction of current, here it is inward all the turns, here it is outward. And in all the turns, current will be either clockwise or anticlockwise. So each turn will behave as circular loop. So it will produce magnetic field in same direction. All the turns will produce magnetic field in same direction. That may be this way or this way. In class 10 also we have seen. So if the current passed this way, what, what will be the magnetic field? So in each, if you see from this side, this turn, anticlockwise current each from this side is anticlockwise if you see from this side current is clockwise so each loop for each loop what is that it is north pole this is south pole this is north pole this is south pole this is north pole this side south pole result this south north will be neutralizing this one will neutralize so here we'll be getting north pole and here will be finally south pole will come so this solenoid will behave as bar magnet. The magnetic lines of force will start from north pole and we enter into this one. Inside, and the magnetic lines of force are closed curves. So it may be like this. But here it is coming this way. So like this magnetic lines of force is produced. So inside the solenoid, magnetic lines of force are almost parallel to each other. And at the center, that is the axis, lines are very close to each other. That means very strong magnetic field will be induced 
inside the solar environment outside one line here other line is there no very far so outside magnetic field is negligible we can say in comparison to this inner field lines are very far from each other so inside the solenoid we are getting very strong magnetic field and almost uniform magnetic field if you discuss along the axis magnetic field is almost uniform only at this place or this place it is different no at the both the end nearly both the end it will be different it will be less the space is more here space is very less so if you compare the magnetic field at the end and at the center it will be different here nearly in this region inside any point if you are asked it will be almost constant uniform magnetic field and we are going to derive that expression for this place and we will learn for this place here now if this solenoid is of very long then only what will be this magnetic field will be uniform when we are going to consider that solenoid only as we have to use this ampere circuital law so in case of ampere circuital law what is that this b dl the dot product of b and dl if we integrate it for closed loop it must be mu not or mu r not mu r we can say the summation of i if simply air is there then mu not if any other material is there then mu not mu r will also come or simply mu will come so we want this apply this one in order to find the magnetic field at this place now how will apply just you see so just we have seen here what is that here love magnetic is sorry current is coming out here current is going in so if we find the direction of the current all the current are here out like this here it is different it is cross it is going inside this is the direction of current not the direction of magnetic field so if we consider only suppose this part what is happening here summation of mu i what will come here is i here is i here is i so 3i no for example suppose only we are considering this part so in this closed loop that loop may be of any shape now we have to keep in mind when we are considering the loop what should be either magnetic field is uniform along the path or magnetic field is perpendicular to the path these are the two things we have to consider then only the calculation will be very easy or easily we can determine so suppose we have considered this loop for this closed loop these three are the enclosed one if you consider the closed loop up to here then more three are enclosed so we will use this concept whatever we have read in case of ampere circuital law we will use this concept here now you will be given total number of turns suppose total number of turns in the solenoid suppose it is n length of the solenoid for this is l we have assumed this l then sometime you will not be given these two you will be given number of turns per unit length this small n will be total number of turns per unit length <coughs> so 
So this physical quantity we will use here. Now suppose total number of trans sorry number of trans is three per centimeter, and we have considered ten centimeter length. Naturally, thirty trans will come in the loop. So camera, please shift it little down. Slightly, sir. So, if number of turns you are given per unit length, that is small n is given, and you are considering the loop of the length, suppose 10 centimeter, then we can find number of turns into the length of that particular loop. Now, how will you use this? Uh, suppose this is our solenoid. We are showing the current element that is here. Suppose current is outward. Each turn, whatever you are considering. So these are the turns. And the current is outward only, all everywhere. And here the current is inward. Okay, like that this. So everywhere current is like this. This we are showing only the turns. Suppose it is coming like this, then it is coming this way. Current is here this side, whereas here it is going this side, inside. So here current this way and it is going here. So that point we are showing here. That is all the, the current. That means this is the position of the loops. So each is having current I only. Here I is coming, here I is going inside. Now magnetic lines of force is in this direction. Suppose this is the direction of magnetic lines of force. So we are considering it is uniform magnetic field, okay? Here it is this way, but here it will be this way, but it is negligible. But it lies of course like this, it is coming. So here is this, this side, inside it is different. Outside magnetic field is almost zero. Here magnetic field is almost constant, uniform, if you consider a small region. Either in solenoid is infinitely long. So at any point on the axis it will be same. Only at the end it will be different. So if we want to find a magnetic field at any point, we are considering the loop. Suppose this is our loop. This loop we are considering is quad. Why is it so? Our condition is what? Either magnetic field is uniform or it should be perpendicular to the loop. So in this region, magnetic field is uniform. We can consider circle also, but here magnetic field is not uniform. That's why we are not considering the circular loop. We are considering this rectangular loop or a square loop. So suppose this square we are considering A, B, C and D. Its length is A and width is B. So 
so we want to apply this ampere circuit a lot to find magnetic field in this region or suppose pq r s we can because magnetic field will be confused pq r s okay well b is magnetic field so we will apply the ampere circuit a lot So, what are the things we'll use here? We have to apply this one. A loop is not circle, so what will be for closed loop from P to Q, Q to R, R to S, S to P separately? We'll find. So, this V D L. We can find this way B D L for P to Q. From here to here we have come. Plus we will integrate B D L from Q to R. This is not closed. Closed means complete like this. So from P to Q, Q to R, R to S. Plus integration of this B D L all are vector product, not product only. S to P. Now P to Q. What will be the integration of this B D L? Here, what is the value of b? B is almost zero, so it will be zero into a. That is zero only. Q to r. What will come? Magnetic field this one, DL is this side. So what is the angle? Here B is this side, DL is this side. So for half B zero, but for this half also it is ninety degree. Understood? So it is B DL. Cos ninety or B, you can say B by two only. For this part it is zero, but for this part it is B by two. <coughs> but cos ninety is there. B and DL making an angle of ninety degree, so this will also become zero. Cos ninety zero. R to S. B is also in this direction, and D L is also in the same direction. So what will come? B is uniform everywhere from here to here. B is same. So we'll take out B. An integration of D L from R to S. What will come? It will come A. So we have assumed A. B is uniform, so B will be out. Integration of this length R to S, which is A. S to P, same like this only. S to here it will become zero, means magnetic field angle is 90 degree, and here magnetic field is zero. So this part will also be zero. Cos 90 plus zero. They are also in the same way. You can say B into means B zero, 
0 into b by 2 plus this. So this is 0, only this much is left. b into a. Now, if you want to apply Ampere circuital law, what is said? This must be equal to mu naught mu r summation of i. If only air is there, then mu naught only. So, according to Ampere circuital law, what can we write? will become summation of i with mu naught also mu naught summation of i if we hear. if other medium then mu naught mu r also you can write so general formula we can say i summation so how many loops are enclosed by this It will be n into a, where n is number of loops per unit length. Generally, that will be given. This we have already got b into a. So, what do you got? So, that means this b into a will be mu naught mu r n into a i. This is summation i. Current passing through each loop is i. How many loops are enclosed? So number of turns per unit length into length. So it is enclosed. Number of loop will be n into a. Yes, any confusion? That means this B will be mu naught mu r n i. For here it will become mu naught n i. So if the core is, this we call core, on which the wire is wounded. That core may be iron, that core may be paper, that core may be, not, if nothing is there, suppose it is wounded over this one and it is removed, then we call air core. So for air core, this mu r will become 1, so this B will be how much? Mu naught and I. For any other material, this mu r will be given. For ferromagnetic material, that is iron, cobalt, nickel, this mu r is very high. Okay, whatever it is given, so like that we can say. Now, what will be the magnetic field at both end? It is half of this. We are not to derive the relation. Simply, we have to know the formula. So, magnetic field at both the end of the long solenoid. So this will be half of this. The same formula is applicable or same way you can say if it is, we call it toroidoid, means the solenoid is in this form. It is here, turns are like this. 
So then also if we enclose suppose this part we are considering like this, then same formula it will come. So for toroidoid also, if the coil is like this, made like this, it is core is a hollow pipe or maybe solid pipe, which is which two end is closed or in the circular form, then same formula is applicable here also. So here also at any point on the axis, magnetic field will be same. Here end is not there. So what will be magnetic field here? Same formula, mu naught and i. Mu naught and i by 2 is not applicable here. All the parts will be same. So this is magnetic field at any point due to long solenoid. Long solenoid, if length is not given, means it is infinitely long solenoid and for that only. For finite length, formula is different that we have not to know. Or if you are interested, you can know the formula. Suppose the solenoid is of this much length only. You are asked to find magnetic field at any point on the axis here, suppose. Then we will join this line from this end here and from this end here. So if this angle is phi 1, this angle is phi 2 from this side only, from one side only. Either from this side, this will be phi 1 and this will be phi 2. Then this B will be <coughs> mu naught and I over 2 cos phi 1 plus cos phi 2. That is the general formula. If suppose this point we are considering here, then what will be? From the axis it will make an angle of 90 degree and here if it is infinitely long then it will make 180 degree. So cos 90 plus cos 180. No, cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Okay, minus cos theta 2. So if it is infinitely long, then theta 1 will be 0, theta 2 will become 180. Cos 0 1, cos 180 minus 1. So 1 minus minus 1, 2. 2 2 will be cancelled. So mu naught and i. For infinitely long, This phi 1 will be 0 because this is length, suppose here. So you are joining this, so almost it will come 0 degree. And phi 2 will be 180 degree. If you are considering at one end here, this one will become 90 and this one 180. So minus of minus 1, that is plus 1. So mu naught and i over 2 will come. Okay, so only this much we have to know.